morning creatures and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> my name is Nathaniel, you may know me as NSD, which is the name of the YouTube channel. And I'm here to serve your best time of the day. Always going to say that. Anyway, anyway, today I'm going to show you my full body workout. Recently, as you may know, I started training again. And as promised, I am documenting my 2023 journey to you on this channel. So make sure to subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. So these days, nowadays, I typically train something like uh, three times per week now, just to get some mass and power back before I extend my training into several different workouts. One quick note before we start, uh, if you are like a, a super beginner, if you are a complete beginner, like someone who's never been to the gym or someone who's never been working out in or outside the gym, then I suggest you start with this lighter version of, food, of the full body workout, which contains only one exercise per muscle group. So you want what you want to do basically is you want to do. You do one exercise for legs, one exercise for back, one exercise for chest, and so forth, and so on. Okay, so without any further ado, let's get down to business. Let's get down, let's get down to business. Give you one more night, one more night to get this. We've had a million, million nights just like this. So let's get down, let's get down to business. Okay, so first thing that I'm doing regularly when I coming when I'm coming to the gym is uh, I weight myself. Let's get on the weight. This is already too much information to you for you creatures. I hope you will appreciate what I'm doing for you. So it says 60 kilograms. Whoa. I'm actually surprised right now. You see, last week I was only 59 kilograms. Okay, so it's still it's uh, a minor, but still a progress for me. I'm going to start with five minutes warm up on the treadmill. Okay, so we got a little warm up here. Time to go to the first station of the day. Okay, so the leg press machine. We start first with the largest muscle groups uh, like legs, chest, backs, backs. Relatively early in the workout, and we'll leave all the small muscle loops uh, to the very end. The leg press machine is primarily going to work our glutes and uh, also the overall parts of the legs. All the leg <coughs> muscles are involved in this uh, movement, but as I said, it's primarily for the glutes. Okay. Remember. Our first hour. My first priority is to expect the health benefits out of those movements. And only then comes the look, the appearance, the confidence, performance, and so forth and so on. And let me rephrase. My first priority will always be uh, keeping the ability to go to the gym, okay, avoiding injury. Only then my second priority will be to expect the health benefits and my third priority will be the looks, just to look better. We're going to start with very lightweight. We're going to do a warm up set. Okay, so we are all warmed up, ready to go. This is the point where I'm going to hit my timer on. I'm going to hit my timer on because this is the point where my actual training begins. Okay, after the warm up set and when the first uh, working set. It's going to be executed. This is the point that you press the timer on. I suggest, especially if you are a beginner, aim to not ex not exceed or not uh, make your 
training longer than one hour and five, maybe one hour and ten maximum minutes. All right, this is, this is because, and this is something that studies have been shown and proved that after that period of time, your body cortisol levels are rising. And this is bad for gains. This is bad overall, but especially for gains. So even though the full body workouts uh, are by far the longest or the most prolonged one, at least in my fitness plan, I still aim to that narrow window of one hour and five, one hour and ten minutes max, okay, per session. Let's get started. The actual training is going to begin right now. That's it. primarily on our quadriceps, quads, uh, by far without any doubt the quads are the largest or the biggest muscle in our body. Simply hold the body hands on this quad, so it's very important to develop them. Let's get, let's get started. Okay, last station for legs today is going to be the seated leg curl machine. One good thing that I can say about the seated leg curl machine is that it is far better than the prone, than the traditional prone lying curl machine. So. so. Instead of doing the seated leg curl machine, I uh, decided to seize an opportunity and uh, we are going to work on our hamstring today in the hip thrust machine. You will remember what I said about the seated leg curl? So this is far better and I'm going to show you how to perform it correctly. At least in my opinion, it's the best movement or the best exercise that you can do targeting your hamstring. Uh, especially if you are a girl, it will give you this nice curve between the buttocks area and the rest of the hip. In other words, it will give you an awesome booty. <laughs> Uh, I just get to know that right now I'm just feeling that my hamstrings are a bit stronger than my quads, which is not the uh, it's not the ideal situation. The ideal situation would be the complete opposite. You can see the damage of the neuropathy of the whole body right here. Maybe it's due to the neuropathy, and maybe it's not. It doesn't matter now because we are getting back to work. We basically finished with legs. Now we're gonna go. We're gonna go to work on our back. Remember, we are working on the, the biggest or the largest muscle groups relatively early in the workout and leave all the small groups, muscle groups to the end of the workout. So here it's the left foot down. Uh, it works on our we're going to open our back muscles primarily on the left, the latissimus dorsi. 
great exercise to develop new bats. It also gets you prepared for the big deal with the pull-up movement or the pull-up exercise. So you're gonna do three sets of those. And we're going to start right now. In this exercise, I recommend do the last set at drop set. You better do it while you are trying to get your elbows or put your elbows inside your imaginary last pocket, your imaginary back pocket. Imagine that you have a pocket right here and you get to like get your elbow. You have to like get your elbow inside those back pockets. So the movement is going to look like that. We get inside the iron zone. We are going to Very fun exercise. It's not really fun, but you get to know it, it is fun. Uh, we're going to work on our back in a unilateral movement, each side differently or each side separately. This is called the hammer rows. A lot of people tend to do the hammer rows or the dumbbell hammer rows with uh, different variations. I do it like that. Uh, in a, on a bench, which is slightly bent over. Approximately 45 degrees will be the best option for me, as I'm going to roll the dumbbell in this position to that position. Actually, it's uh, 60 degrees for me. Okay, so we finished with our back. Now it's time to go and work our chest. And we're going to do the chest press today in the Smith machine. Do it in a designated Smith machine or a designated uh, chest press machine that will allow you to uh, realize uh, how your body works with that movement and uh, realize the movement, you know, get to learn the how to uh, execute it more precisely. This is how legends are made. Now, as a general rule of thumb here, generally speaking, you want to initiate the press. While you're pressing, you want the bar, the bar to be in line or in a parallel line your nipples line or just beneath your nipples line. Also, before you engage into the movement, you want to take your shoulder blades all the way to the back and downwards. So the movement is going to look like that. Check it out. See, I'm taking my shoulder blades back and downwards. This is how legends are made. Our next station is going to be the Peck Fly Machine or the Pectorials Fly or the Peck Deck. Even though the official Peck Deck name is named after uh, a chest and a real delt machine designated for chest and real delt flies, this is only gonna work on our pectorials. See those foot handles right here? They are not by, they are not here by accident or by mistakes. Those are very important. 
from protecting your shoulders very well. It also gets you prepared or, or it, it gets you to it gets you the opportunity to learn the initial and the final position of the movement. So it will lead in the future for it will lead in the future to a stronger muscle to mind connection. Now in general I believe that muscle to mind connection is important important at any age. It makes you more of a complete human being living in the 21st century. Okay, so we got into the I want zone to start working on our shoulders. The first exercise is going to do obviously shoulder press. Uh, the most natural way to do a shoulder press is going to be in a standing position. But in order to get the most out of the movement, I'm going to risk it a little bit to do it in a sitting position. Okay, what you simply want to do, if the weight is too much for you, you can bump it up with your knees, just to get the initial movement. Then, creatures, you get inside the movement and you give it all you got. side lateral raises. Uh, whether if you are doing it in a standing or a sitting lateral raises position, I suggest take a fair amount of weight and try to push from your elbows. Right? Push the weights from your elbows away from your body. The soldiers find me just So here, what you want to do in this movement, you're simply taking the bar straight down and towards your body, okay, while keeping your elbows tucked into the sides of your body or the ribs uh, area. So the movement is going to look like that. We're going to stay in the iron zone for the next movement. We're going to work on our biceps. The first single, the first exercise is going to be uh, an incline seated, in, a seated incline uh, bicep curl. Basically, what you want to do. Uh, a lot of people do this movement like that in a straight line. This is all good and so, but eventually. The most potential, you can expect, expect far better potential with this movement if you just do it like that. Instead of doing over here, over here, the movement, do it like that. Okay, you are forcing your biceps to glow in that position. The initial plan, the original plan was to do concentration cows, but I just felt the need today 
to get you to see my favorite biceps exercise. It's called the double bicep curl. We are going to do standing cable double bicep curl and I will let you see the movement right here. Here's a mistake you can learn from creatures. The weight is just too much in here. So what happens is my elbows are just changing their position all the time. This is a very bad, <laughs> terrible form, actually. Now I had to go to a unilateral movement in order to fix that problem and lower the weight. I suggest do not lift with your ego, lift what you need to in order to get real progress as you can see the timer is now reaching we've reached the end of the workout right now we have to skip the abs and that's it for today and tomorrow I'm going to work abs or I can work abs six hours or seven hours after that session now how can you join my challenge my 2023 challenge by simply watching the videos, alright? And follow my mistakes, apply them in, in your life. All you need to do in return for that is to subscribe. Really important to subscribe, like and share my videos in order to expand our universe together. Let's dance together this year. One more thing, I recently updated my other social media platforms, including my Instagram profile, uh, Facebook, Snapchat, my Twitter page and I also opened a brand new TikTok profile that goes by the name NSP 2023 you can check it out uh, the name again it's NSP 2023 make sure to check it out and I promise more incredible quality content is on the way you saw me today trying to help myself I was trying to do whatever I can in order to help myself okay Sitting at home, waiting for the redemption is not going to help you. Real help, true progress is only going to come from you and you alone. Only you are able to help yourself, okay? We are our own messiah. Thank you for watching the video, creatures. I hope you learned and I hope you gained some knowledge and you had some fun. I personally had a blast. I had to have a blast. <laughs> Uh, this is it for today, hoping that we will meet again next week or soon enough. I will see you and I'll see you. All the best and wishes. See you in the next video. This is how legends are made.